Hey brothers and sisters in Christ, um, again, this is a video from like yesterday. It's going to be like yesterday. This is a topic I will not usually talk about, but um, I had another, it's actually a brother in Christ that emailed me. He's in college, you know, his girl's in college, you know, they're not living together. He told me they don't have pre, um, premarital sex. They, she's a devout Christian as well. But he asked for advice on when starting a new relationship. I mean, brand new relationship. Like the Bible calls it a courtship. He asked me for advice because he said he likes the girl and um, he thinks about her all the time and she thinks about him all the time. And I think they've been only dating for like a week or something like that. So. I'm here to give this gentleman advice if he's watching. You know, he's saying he can't stop thinking about her. He's getting serious about her. And he's, you know, like, it's like he's saying that he thinks she's the one. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and say that instant love is impossible because anything is possible with the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. But even in the Bible, when David courted one of his wives before he actually married them, the Lord had him court, date one of his wives before he married them. And it wasn't very long. It was for a time. It was a time appointed by the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. So all I could tell you on this matter, brother in Christ, is don't rush into anything. Let the Holy Spirit lead the way. Let the Lord Jesus Christ direct your footsteps and her footsteps. A new relationship can be exciting. It could be exhilarating. You're just getting to know one another. And you just got to keep getting to know one another. Okay? Um, don't make a snap quick decision that she's the one, she's this, she's that. Because all you know, what if she turns, to be, turns out to be like the Wicked Witch of the West? You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you a figure of speech. Okay, and what if you turn out to be like a goblin to her or, you know, like uh, a toad instead of a prince? It's just a figure of speech. You, you want to get to know one another and take things slow. Let the Lord Jesus Christ guide you. The Lord brought her in your life for a reason and you were brought into her life for a reason. So let the Lord guide the footsteps. Don't worry about the mechanics of the relationship. Don't worry about if she's going to like this about you or that about you. Or if she's going to like you as a whole. If she's going to accept you for your habits. If she's going to accept you as a whole. If she can't accept you for who you are, first off, she's not the one. And you got to send her packing. And if, she, and if you can't accept her, then she's got to send you packing. Just take things slow. Let the Lord Jesus Christ guide the way. Okay, and if it's meant to be, you too will progress to the next level of the relationship. Okay, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I don't do relationship videos. This is a ministry, and I will, this is a ministry that talks about Jesus Christ. Okay, but if it's a topic that is not related to ministry, I'm going to tie it into the Bible. Now, as a reminder of what I talked to you all about yesterday... That's my guinea pig in the background. Excuse me. Put put David down, please. Uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Okay, put Elizabeth down. Sorry for the interruption. Anyway, like I said, just because a couple are dating, it doesn't mean for you to go shack up with that couple because you know that the Lord says you can't live together or fornicate or you can't have premarital sex. Okay? So, in a brand new relationship, take it slow. You have to trust one another. If you have made it exclusive, where it's just you and her, you're in a committed relationship, that means that you cannot be talking to other girls and she cannot be talking to other guys. That means that you talk to one another so that way you could build that trust, you could build that foundation, and you could take it from there. Okay? This is the second relationship question that I got. And like I said, I might talk about relationships. I might talk about marriage and stuff like that. And I'll always tie it into the Bible. I'll always link it to the Bible. You know, I, I told you before that you want to have a partner, 
you know, court somebody that's of the same faith as you, so that way you're united, because God is a, is a rock united. God, God is a rock united. He is the foundation of the church. Amen? The church meaning not only the holy righteous church, you know, the structural building, the very few righteous ones, but also of the righteous human being, him or herself. So you want to be in a relationship with somebody that is strong in the Lord like you are. You don't want to date somebody that's an, an another false faith like Islam, Hindu, a Catholic, or these crazy atheists out here too. I'm going to address that in another video. I'm going to talk about that in another video. Um, no, let me talk about it right now. You know that these atheists are nuts? You know that they get offended when schools that believe in Jesus Christ indoctrinate prayer time. They get offended because the the uh, the uh, the Constitution allows for religious freedom, which we all know is being stripped. And they get offended when a person's reading the Bible in a public property. Well, this is for you atheist people. You crazy. You need to get a life and you need help. And you know what? Your little videos that you make making fun of God and making fun of Christians means nothing. That means that you have no life. You are miserable and you are so upset that Jesus Christ is truth, you know Jesus Christ is truth, and to this day, you're trying to discredit him, and it's not working. So you have to make video after video after video trying to discredit God, but it's not working. So you get upset, and you continue with your little videos. You can continue with your little videos and making fun of Christians. That's on you, but you're going to be the one to find out soon enough that you were in error when you're the one burning in hell. So ladies and gentlemen, I didn't mean to deviate from the topic of relationships, but I just had to say that little piece to these little atheists if they're listening, to let them know that their words are nothing. Their little videos are nothing because they're straight up pathetic and, and they need help. And really, they're this small, this small when it comes to Jesus Christ, that tiny. They're nothing but a dot on the map. So... You can say what you want about the Father, but you know what? The Father's coming, and the Bible prophecies are going to be fulfilled. So whatever you say, it means nothing. You're not bothering us strong Christians in Christ. Believe that. You're not bothering us. We just laugh at you. We mock you. Going back to the topic at hand, ladies and gentlemen, if you want a new relationship, take it slow. Take it one day at a time. Get to know the person. If that new relationship it has distance between you two, I talked about it yesterday. Check out that video. Get to know one of one another. Don't rush into who's going to make the first visit where. Get to know each other first. Build that foundation. And then when you got that solid foundation, one of you make the visit to that person. And don't care what anybody says about your new relationship. You tell people to mind their business if you have to. Okay? You just worry about you. Still be wonderful and loving to your fellow man. But if someone's trying to tell you when you when you are liking someone, you dating someone, you really feeling them for real, and you think that they're you know that there's possible potential here, that you're gonna grow close to them, okay? And someone's telling you otherwise, and they keep butting in your business, you tell them, Jesus got this. I do not need your input. Jesus got this. I know what I'm doing. The Father's guiding me. Okay, so. I'm going to put up another video, maybe talking about whatever the Holy Spirit leads me to talk about. Okay, but this video right here, I guess it was for the, it was for the gentleman asking about his new girlfriend and also a little quick message to these pathetic atheists out here. Okay, so with that being said, brother in Christ, if you're watching, just keep proceeding with the Lord's guidance. Let him direct your footsteps. And everything will fall into place. Have a blessed day.